On way back to GIMP, let me show you how you can create random snowflakes from scratch. We'll start with a new canvas. I'll make it 500 times 500. Let me use the paint bucket fill. It's black, left click on it. I don't want my snowflakes to be white. Let me create a new layer. It's important that it's transparent, so I call it snowflake. I'm on this layer. Go to image guides, new guide by percent, make it 50 for vertical and horizontal. So we have to do it two times. 50% makes it in center. Let's go to view, make sure snap to guides is checked. So this allows us to snap to the guides that we've just created. You can now use basically any drawing tool. I just use the paintbrush. I want to have more like a hand-drawn effect. It's white, white on black, clearly visible. Let me increase the size and I use a round brush, maybe this one here. If you can't find that, go to Windows, talk about dialogues, click on brushes, then you have this menu. It's going to snap to the guide, but it's not perfect as you can see, so you have to have a calm hand. Left click, drag, move it up or down to have a straight line like this. And as I said, I want to have a hand drawn effect. So I just go over this like so. My first element is done. Now I want to copy this. I go to my top layer, then go to layer, transform and flip it vertically. Afterwards, merge these two layers by clicking on the icon down here. Copy it again. Use the rotate tool, shift R, left click on your canvas, make it 90 degrees. Confirm via rotate. Again, merge these two layers. And you can add another dimension, so let me copy it, rotate, left click again, 45 degrees, confirm we rotate. Merge the layers, make your background invisible. And this is now what we're going to store as a brush. To do that, we go to edit, copy. And then edit, paste as down here. And then select new brush. I call that Snowflake Tutorial. Don't worry about file name and spacing, just keep it. Confirm via OK. And it's now here in my brushes menu. You can see it's Snowflake Tutorial. Let's create a new project. For example, 16 by 9. I confirm. Let us create a new layer, make sure it's transparent, and I call it Snowflakes. It's on top of my background, I'll select the background, paint bucket tool, and I use maybe a bluish color, something like this. Left click on your canvas. Well, let me make it a little bit darker, maybe this one. I'll switch to my Snowflakes layer, activate the brush, then select your brush, that we've created. In my case, it's a snowflake tutorial brush. And by the way, if you can't find your brushes menu, as I've said, it's under Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Brushes. Let me show you this Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and there it is Shift Control B. Well, now we have it. Left click, and there's your snowflake. But they all look alike, I don't want that, so press Ctrl Z. Let me first go down with the size right here, maybe to 400, and then I click under Dynamics on this icon, and this gives me a drop down. And I want to find Dynamics Random right here. Also, check Apply Jitter. It's the box below Dynamics Options. And you can see if I move the mouse on my canvas, it's going to change the size randomly. 
and even the opacity. And if I now left click, I've got this effect. Don't just left click and drag. It's a little bit too thick then. You just want to move around and have a single click or two clicks from time to time. And then go over your canvas just like this. I would say that's enough. By keeping it on two different layers, you can still adjust the background. So if I, for example, want to make it darker, maybe like a dark gray, I'll just switch the color here, use the paint bucket to again and left click. And this is how you can create your snowflake design from scratch in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.